So it's 5.09 p.m. 7th of August 2020. It's a Friday. So I got up a little before 3 p.m. Couldn't get to sleep last night because I drank that coffee. Just drinking one cup, one mug of coffee means I can't, um, you know, I uh, find it difficult to sleep. So it's good I did not drink any coffee today. Anyway, so I asked my mom to prepare some food because I was feeling lazy and tired and somewhat depressed and I didn't have the motivation to make my meal so I ate finished eating that vegan ice cream and I um, ate this food where my mom prepared it's like a chapati and uh, potato mushroom onion sort of a curry but it's not really you know, like I don't, I don't use a lot of spices I don't like salt I have this ginger, garlic, and this mixed herbs. Oh man, that thing is like... Anyway, so... <clears throat> oh, I took my earrings out when I had the CAT scan, and I haven't put it back in. I wonder if this is closed. And, uh, so anyway, so... Um, <clears throat> I've been sort of thinking about, you know, God, and uh, I was watching a bit of videos and debates on coding overload. What's that? Uh, Anyway, so, animal suffering was something that was sort of bugging me. If the, if there were all these dinosaurs and they killed each other and they died and suffered, why would God create animals to suffer? Because, uh, if you think about it, the fall of man, the Bible says the fall brought, uh, I don't know, something about that, you know how when Adam sinned and he disobeyed God, that's when death entered or some people say it's spiritual death anyway uh, i don't know this is so like uh, i don't know what to say about that yes yes uh, I should read more of the Bible, but it's like a... I'm lazy, I feel very lazy and I feel like reading the Bible is like an effort and I just... I just feel very difficult to read. Uh, to read almost anything, but also the Bible it feels difficult. So I was like, why am I reading this? It's like, I feel depressed. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Like, I was watching all of these Black Lives Matter videos, like, for a while. But, you know, and then I'm like, no, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah I think that's a good thing. Uh, it's like, I, I just sort of, I don't know, my interest has sort of switched away from that and 
I don't know, I guess it was very exhausting because I would watch it every day and I guess it, it might not be good for your mental health to continually watch that. It's like all the protesting and the... Okay. It might be exhausting, but... Uh, when I do the sighing, it's not like feigned sighing. I just feel uh, exasperated or I don't know, it's very... I'm not doing it to on purpose or anything. I'm just sort of yeah. oh, look, there's my guitar. And that guitar works. That that all that tip over <laughs> it hit my fan, but I think the guitar should be okay. Uh, yes. The guitar should be okay. Yeah, with the NDIS, I contacted this one organization and asked them about group activities and they gave me like a, a schedule for August where you can do certain group activities and... Oh look, they got movie nights and dinner, I got... Uh, I wanted to play video games <laughs> with other people. I think they might have that. Um, So, uh, life is depressing. When you sit down to think about it, even like when I think about like the Bible, I feel like even that's sort of like depressing. <laughs> I even think that's depressing. What the hell? I just feel like. Yes, there are some nice things in here. I don't know, I just find the whole thing depressing. It's like... Why is it so difficult... ...to believe? Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if I will be a believer. I don't know, it's just like... It just seems too difficult to believe in a systematic worldview because my life experiences have brought, brought me to a point where everything is sort of shattered. My worldview is shattered it's like Humpty Dumpty fell down again and no one could put Humpty Dumpty back together again. It's like my li my whole life is like, uh, it's like open to, it's like shattered and it's like, it's not possible to bring it all into one cohesive system. Because it's shattered. Uh, broken. Uh, maybe I'm a broken person too. But, um, Yes, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the religious thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I guess I could choose to live a life. Isn't that what they said in the Matrix? It's like at the end, it's like, why don't you just die? You know you're going, your your life was meaningless and purposeless, and the and he says, why do you, you know? He goes, why do you live? Why are you living? And he goes, because I choose to. <laughs> because I choose to live. Maybe that is something worth thinking about. Because I choose to live. Despite it all being meaningless and yes, I've died and all that, I choose to live. I don't know. I guess. Maybe there's something worth doing, I don't know. But then again, 
with, with choice comes great responsibility and the responsibility is weighing me down. Oh no, no. Now I gotta choose wisely. Now, now my choices have consequences. And, uh, you mean I have to be responsible for my choices? And Can I handle the responsibility of being able to choose? It's like... That's also like something that can weigh me down. Responsibility to choose. It's like, it's like you go one way and then you turn another way and it's like... Eh.